you. Okay, welcome everyone. Thank you for coming. We have Lucas this morning, and Lucas is going to present uh, his uh, his his work. Uh, Leticia, welcome back. Okay. I don't know whether Leticia uh, finished her presentation as well for this morning. And Maria Teresa, where are you supposed to present today? I was supposed to present um, last week. Last week. Yes, but I didn't, I don't have anything prepared. Can I present next week? You can, you can, of course you can, okay. Lucas, are you ready to share the screen and everything? Make us happy? Uh, Hoseville, can I just say, I didn't make a really cool uh, um, presentation. Yeah, I just make the, the text. The text. That's okay. Th does everybody in the room knows how um, a notion works or no? Does everybody know how a notion works or no? Okay, so today we're gonna have a very quick introduction uh, about notion. We will take a look at the example uh, to show people uh, his presentation in a very nice and uh, a neat way, okay? And uh, let me just get this one here for you. I will just uh, prepare everything before we proceed. Uh, let me open this here. I'm getting my tools ready in order to help uh, Lucas on this endeavor. Lucas, I will share the screen now. Let's see if I share the right screen. Let's see here. Can you people see my canvas now or you see the notion? That's the, that's the notion, uh, the notion uh, introduction page. And then we have uh, Lucas speaking. Lucas, you can start speaking and then I will write here what your presentation is, okay? Oh, Please. Okay, okay. Um, wait, let me find it. The text I I lost. Wait. That's okay. And you you will talk about uh, Saskatchewan. It's, it's Sask right. Saskatchewan. Okay. Saskatchewan. Okay. Yes. Very nice. Okay. Let's get this one here. So we're gonna find here Sask Saskatchewan. 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 That's the city. Okay. In Canada. Beautiful place. So when you're ready, tell me because I'm I'm start uh, uh, put information here about Saskatchewan. Okay. 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 Um, ready? Then, uh, I forgot the the entertainment. It you list uh, you make a list with the the things I need to say of Saskatchewan, but I didn't make the entertainment. <laughs> the entertaining. Okay, can you tell me yeah. the, the items of the the the, the list? Uh, culture. Culture. Downtown. Just a second. Just a second. Just a okay, second. Okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, okay. That way, because you go too fast. But remember, I'm an old guy. Oh. And, no, and no, old... you are. Okay, so really? let me see here. Let me see. Had two. So tell me, the first one is culture, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, the next one. Uh, the next one is um, downtown. Downtown? Yeah. Okay, oops, made a mistake here. Just a second, what else? Um, next is, wait, entertainment? I didn't make Interta this. Entertainment. In, yeah. in, tri entertain, tra entertainment. Okay, so teacher also make mistakes, entertainment. Next. Um, the next is, wait, uh, museums. Museums. Museums, okay, museums. What else? Um, it's star and shops and shops. Okay, shopping. Shopping, yeah. What else? Um, and food, and food, 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 yeah, food, 
food excellent okay so you can start okay um i was i was talking about the list okay so um where is Sas saskatchewan saskatchewan uh the province of saskatchewan is located in the midwest canada and it's only province without natural borders um okay the culture of saskatchewan um was influenced influenced by english german ukrainian russian french and irish irish uh, irish uh because they are um uh, uh indigenous people and, In and indigenous people yeah they are indigenous people and some uh and others um as i have a permission then it's I like hear. it's like brazil like it's like brazil um okay they, but it's we brazil are... or canada what it's brazil or canada uh i'm talking uh because the the way they are influenced Influences Influence. is like Brazil. Influences is like Brazil because they are just discovered, right? Um, some American just discovered this this indigenous people, and uh, show them the 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 culture, right? The culture. I just interesting. I just interesting. That's um, okay. Um, the history. Saskatchewan was populated by several indigenous people from North North America. Mm. So, um, it's like I say, it's a, it's like Brazil, like. Um, now the food. I didn't um um found so much food because I don't know it's it's hard to 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 find the the food of the these people. So okay. what I I found it it's um cherry it's cherry cherry yeah okay the fam the famous food I just found this uh Saskatchewan fairy cherry cherries it's it's very exclusive I, I guess pie um, cherry pie cherry yes oh ch oh cherry pie fire cherries okay what else um wait we're almost there um wait <laughs> it's uh, a berry pie a berry pie yeah it also they making good pies it's it, it also um what you can find in my <laughs> uh uh, Saskatoon berry jam. They have berry too. jam. Okay. Berry jam. What um, else? Shutterstock and Saskatoon okay. berry pie. Sask Saskatchewan berry. berry pie. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? No. No. Uh, just this. I I found it. Okay. That's okay. So and then uh, you didn't talk about the okay uh, your five is over five five uh, mega okay thank you very much Rosa I'm using the free version <laughs> <laughs> yay for unlimited uploads that's okay so no not not anything else what did you talk about Saskatchewan downtown I don't remember anything. Uh, the downtown. Yeah. Um. Wait. What? Where I put? I didn't. I didn't talk about the, the the downtown. Downtown. I can't recall it. I don't. I think I. I talked. I talked. Yes. And think. entertainment. I didn't make you. I, I I'd say too. I, I didn't make entertainment. No. Yeah, I didn't make no. Um, but I make by the the shop and and museum. Shops and museum. Yeah. Um, the shop. Um, what I looking? It's not the best, but 
for the the um the country is good right it's not have the, okay. the best uh evaluation but it's good you can find so, you can find some so much um things uh um like uh because it's it, it, it it's in canada so you can find just normal things you you will find like in the North America. It's not a um, super different shop. Like it's just a normal shop. That's okay. Is that all? Uh, yes. Fantastic. And, okay. And and the the museum, uh, he has so much. Um, it's uh, how they say. I talk about uh, the shopping you 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 looking. I talk about the gateway mall. What's yes, the Mr. gateway mall? Yeah, yeah. The gateway mall is the place. Yeah. Uh, talk about this, open, this place. Yeah, the, that will open only at ten a.m. Okay, because now it's okay. still closed. <laughs> um, and the the museum I I was talking about is Royal Saskatchewan Museum. The Royal sure. Saskatchewan Museum, that's the one yeah. I put here. Yes, this one. Fantastic. Okay. So, is uh, that all? Is that all? Is that all? That's all? Okay, so we have that's here, all. I'm sharing your presentation to everybody. Okay, you're talking about Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan, Canada, okay? Canada. So, the presentation is ready. So people, uh, if anyone wants to use a quick way of creating a document, I put the document there. Let me see this one here. Uh, where is this? This is the Lucas Saskatchewan. I send a WhatsApp for everybody. So everybody, this is the final presentation, Lucas' final presentation, okay? Saskatchewan. Lucas, your presentation is yeah. ready. Okay. If you can see here, okay? Thank you, I guess. You're welcome, that's okay. So this is a easy way. Uh, everybody using Notion. Notion, we organize information. In my case, I'm using the free version. They, they are pressing me to pay, and I don't think I'm gonna pay, all right? So people, uh, uh, Leticia, would you like to present yours? Roosevelt. Yes. Can I ask you something about the presentation? Um, I have to, to... Say it again. Make the presentation in that, that I have to make the presentation in that way you explain it or I can do in No, PowerPoint. you can you can use the PowerPoint. Notion is is a new tool for people. Okay? okay. So Notion usually uh, when people want to organize different medias, uh, it's easy because you can also include the audio material over there, videos and everything. I forgot to insert the the video from Saskatchewan. That was the one that I was supposed to uh, to 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 uh, uh, add there, Saskatchewan, Canada, Expedia. Let me see if I can find here very quickly, and I will add that one that information. Uh, there is uh, Toronto, Saskatchewan. Uh, I got here a, a, a nice video, and I put the video. We include the video there. Uh, copy link address and uh, the introductor, introductory video will be the one. And then I will send this to everybody again. Okay, so if you want to appreciate that, it could be. Okay, and... Uh, anybody needs to do the presentation today or nobody else? Me? Oh, Leticia, ready? 
Yes, but I have to say something. There are many okay. words that I don't know how how can I pronounce. So oh. how, how can you pronounce? So hmm. can can you tell us the word before? Uh, well, no. <laughs> because okay, we, we can. Uh... Oh, you can you can write the words on chat, if possible. Okay. Uh, so, let me see. Yeah, I'm trying to find the Lucas here again. Just to to continue, look okay, Lucas, and then I'm saving. Uh, I will open here the the lingi for us, and then we will work on the pronunciation. Just to take it here, this one, I put that for you. Okay. Uh, you can you can write you can write on chat if you like it. Are you writing? Okay. Yes. Okay, I need Just to talk second. to my brother. We we'll back later. Okay, so I yeah I see another message that was Lucas send the message here. That's okay. Lucas, say hi to your father. Okay, see that. I can see. Uh, I, I still I haven't received it. Hmm. Um, as you write the words, I can uh, put on, on Lingui. Lingui will do the pronunciation. For example, Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan is, oh, it's in Manitoba. Let's see if they have the pronunciation. They don't have the pronunciation for Saskatchewan. It's indigenous, okay? Indigenous words. Thank you. Are you writing? Yes, so. Ah, brown. Yes. Ah. Prawn. 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 Yeah, in British English is prawn. Okay. <laughs> attended, attended, attended. 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 Like attended. 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 Okay, next. Um. Whale, 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 whale. Whale, 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 whale. Anything else? Okay, consider, 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 considered, 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 Okay, another word? Uh, no, I think that's it, maybe. Okay, very nice. Okay, let me see this one here, uh, just a second. Okay. And then get this one here. Uh, I will stop sharing and then you can share. Okay, so that, now that's your turn. Okay. Um, can you see? Yep. Okay. Uh, so, hello, everyone. Uh, hello. I'm going to talk with about British Columbia and 
first thing is about the province. British Columbia it is the third largest Canadian province in the area and population trailing only Quebec and Ontario. Located in the western region, this province, this province whose capital is Victoria, Victoria, home to 52 cities, including Vancouver, one of Canada's top cities. And next to that, uh, we have attractions. Attractions. BC is packed with trees, spots, and many parks and natu natural nature reserves. Now there are 1,041. How can I say that? Ecological, well, ecological, ecological reserves, reserves. and and thirty five provincial provincial marine parks. Furthermore, British Columbia is home to seven national parks. How can you see there are many places that name is really hard to say so i just will share <laughs> okay yeah so the gulf island way harness and the Haida heritage site kutenay uh mount uh rebel stalk uh, one pacific ring uh, yoho and the glacier thank you <laughs> you're welcome um british columbia has many cultural, sporting, arches, and tourist attractions. It is a, an ideal place for those like the be beach. Is beach? Yep. Okay, beach and practice activities such as cycling, golf, and even sailing. Snowboarding and snow parts are successful. And then temperature drops and while watching while watching is one of the most popular excursions the province check out the list with the men once below okay yeah that's the capilano uh, suspension bridge that's a very interesting one okay and after that art culture and gastronomy uh, just a second. Primarily, primarily, like other Canadian provinces, British Columbia is marked by cultural diversity. However, this, how can I say that? Tourist? Repeat, please. Here, it's correct. Oh, God. Characteristic. Characteristic. Yep. The prov province is reflected in the art, culture, and gastronomy of the region, which are considered to be quite diversified. Diversified, even so, quite diversified. Even so, in Vancouver, you can find restaurants if consumed from different cultures. Cuisine. 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 Yeah. From different cultures around the globe. By the way, by the way, in spring and autumn, the city hosts three month watering, watering, gastronomic festival. Yeah, mouth watering, mouth oh. watering, mouth watering, mouth, mouth, mouth watering, water, oh, <laughs> watering. Uh, each Vancouver, uh, food. Can I say plus food plus cooking? Yes, festival? yes, yes. It's Vancouver. Yeah, food plus cooking festival, or food food and cooking if you like it. Okay, so it is an event to eat well. The festival proposes day of tastings, gastronomy classes, and seminary 
seminars and experience in TEFIS and new names in gastronomy prepare special dishes. Uh, so after that, spot prom festival. Spot prom, 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 prom. Yeah. Uh, the second week of May in Vancouver, that educate it educate to trip the trip trip. Um. So Spot Pro in the largest type of trip found in Western Canadian waters. Vancouver Craft Beer Week. Craft Beer Festival that lasts a whole week and is attended by around 1,000 producers. There are performances by bands and DJs game area and food trucks. In addition to these, to these festivals in Vancouver, there is also which mound night market in which mound. An annual which night market held every every weekend the summer month. month. BC area is also home to, how can I say that? Numerous? Uh, numerous. Murals, museums, art galleries, and cultural venues, including, Van venues, including Vancouver Opera, Museum of Anthropology, the Hall oh, oh, of Royal, 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 oh. <laughs> Royal, Royal, <laughs> British Columbia Museum, Phoenix, Fear, C3? Three. C3. Three. Yep. Okay. Victoria, Victoria Art Galleries, and many others. So, thank you. Oh, that's okay. Thank you for watching. Excellent. Okay. So, Let Leticia was nice as well. I know some words can be tricky because Canada has. Uh, many uh, indigenous population, and uh, even one of the things uh, you you people may not know is that the dream catcher is part of uh, Canadian uh, culture. Okay, it's the the, the dream catcher. Uh, has anyone has anyone seen a, a dream catcher a dream catcher before or no? No. A dream catcher is a, a very uh, usual uh, decoration in Brazil. People just have that. <laughs> and uh, according to the indigenous uh, beliefs in Canada, uh, the dream catch helps children not to have nightmares. Okay. And uh, that's why they build the dream catchers. And uh, this is part of their culture. Okay. This is it, a dream catcher. They so have I have the preservation areas for Indians. Excuse me, Yasmin? They have preservation areas for Indians. Ah, uh, yes, they do. Yeah, I actually, I have a friend who is indigenous, a Canadian indigenous woman, okay? Canadian, Can Canadian indigenous uh, population. Let me see here. People. Those are the Canadian indigenous people. Okay. It's a cold place, so everybody there needs to needs to to wear. Uh, they are not like Brazilian Indians, always naked. Okay. And uh, the the indigenous land. Oh, let's put the map because we can see where they are located. Uh, oh, they are all spread. That's the true story. Look at this. If you look at the map, if the map opens up, we can see the territories where indigenous uh, numbered uh, treaties. 
So probably this is the side, and this is the name of the, those indigenous, all spread all over the, the, the Canadian territory. Okay. I don't have many details about that, but uh, this is interesting to learn as well, where the Canadian Indian tribes and languages, native languages, look at that, Canadian Indian tribes and the languages, First Nations by province. I'll send you the link and then you, you can take a look, all right? Alberta, Alberta First Nations, New, New Brunswick, First Nations, Northwest Territories, First Nations, Prince Edward Island, First Nations, Yukon, First Nations, and all of them. This is shared on WhatsApp, so you can see that, okay? Just put that for everybody here. Where is this? We're Saturday group, Saturday for everybody. Now, uh, we continue our conversation where we stop it. And uh, if everybody has the, um, everybody has the, the, the material from last class, uh, we can continue here. Very happy that, uh, yes. I had one presentation, but I know, I don't know if it's good. Very simple it is. No problem, it's simple, but we can just see that. Okay, would you like to share the screen, please? Yeah. Sure. yeah. Wow, great. Does everybody can see? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Uh, I will talk about Nova Scotia, Canada. Uh, Nova Scotia is a province in Canada originating from different cultures, mainly the Celtic culture. Many immigrants were there because of the nature and some historic lands, landscapes. Landscapes. Some, oh, landscapes. Uh, here are some places and curiosities of this uh, Scottish, Scottish province. Scottish province. Uh, uh, Halifax is the capital of Nova Scotia. Little now among the residents, but especially famous for the places and artistic centers it provides, such as Pilot's Cove, the most photographed by how you wrote. Okay. Uh, Chester, Mahon Bay, and Lunenburg are also visited by immigrants, and the entertainment is based on boat trips. Uh, Halifax to most families despise our seafood, uh, specifying lobster and, and craft beer. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's that's not a simple presentation. That was a thoroughly presentation. Thank you very much. I really like that as well. Okay, I'm sorry that I I was always uh, uh, left uh, leaving you behind. So, but that was nice. Okay, I like that one. For next week, we're gonna have Maria Teresa, and we can have Leo as well. Leo is back. Leo, are you going to join us next week? Because you can help Maria Teresa to uh, to do the presentation. Okay. Yay, okay. excellent. Okay. We're going to be happy with that. All right. So the presentations are important, people, because that's the way you practice it. And then you don't get nervous. Uh, notion, as I, I sent to everyone here, notion can be a, a, a tool if you sometimes don't have time to prepare and uh, to put up together a quick presentation, as we did for, for Lucas. Lucas uh, just had that. I, I download in PDF, of course, uh, a simple presentation, but it sometimes can save the day. Okay, so Notion is important if you like it, if you would like to have an extra way to organize your life. Okay, so that's why I ask people try to do learning Notion, Notion basics, uh, basics. 
I have here probably a, a short introduction about uh, the basics of Notion, okay, just to show you. And then I will uh, just show the introduction. And after you people uh, can watch the rest, okay? Hello, wishing you a warm welcome to Notion. I'm here to give you an overview of how to use our tools to solve your problems. Whether you want to manage projects, create shared knowledge, take notes, or whatever else you have in mind. There are so many things you can achieve with Notion, but we decided to stick to three things in this video. First, how to write and edit content. Second, how to set up your workspace. And third, how to collaborate on that content with others. By the end of this video, you'll feel ready to go with these actions. So you can use Notion on your own or with your team to get more done. First, I'll show you how to add and edit content in Notion. Here's a page showing a hypothetical company's mission, vision, and value statement. Adding text in Notion is as easy as placing your cursor wherever you want and start typing. It works just like any other document editor, only features don't get in your way until you need them. For instance, when you highlight text, this formatting menu pops up so you can style it. Every piece of content you add to Notion is called a block. The sentence you just typed is a text block. There are many types of blocks you can add to Notion pages. Checkboxes, headings, images, videos, databases, embeds like Google Maps or PDFs. It's a long list. There are two ways to add a block. First, when you hover, you'll see a plus sign in your margin. Click it to see the full menu of content you can add. Second, you can use what we call a slash command. Hit forward slash to bring up the same menu and start typing what you want like to do or bullet. You'll be able to call it up instantly and add it by pressing enter. With slash commands, Notion makes it easy to structure your text with headings, bullets, and more without ever taking your fingers off the keyboard. We also offer all the standard keyboard shortcuts to take this to the next level, like command B for bold if you're on Mac. We also added advanced ones for good measure, like command E for code notation, Powerful once you get the hang of it. You can also hyperlink any text by highlighting it and pasting the URL you'd like to link to over it. All of these options also live in this formatting menu for easy access, including the option to change text color or add highlights. You can turn a whole text block a color in one go with the slash command red, for instance. Okay, so this is just an example. You have the full video you can watch later on. Okay, that's very interesting for those who want to uh, automatize the way you just use your uh, simple presentations. Because sometimes I know it takes some time if you want to put up together, uh, if you want to put together a PowerPoint presentation. For some people, it's easier. For other people, it may not be so easy. Uh, but anyway, so you have the tools. I'll be glad uh, to share more information if you like it. Okay, and uh, remember last class we talked about John, Makiko, and Miguel. Do you remember people? Excellent, but now we are going to talk about the next page. Okay, so we have the presentations about Canada, which was very nice, thank you very much. And today we had the Tester uh, Gates first art project. Uh, let me ask a question. Le did I leave the, the video for everybody to watch or no? Yes. It was a 15 minutes video. Who watched that? Me. What? Okay. Was it difficult? No difficult. A little a little big. Little. I I put more slow slowly. Ah, okay. Yeah, you could do slower. Yes, that's a possibility. Yeah. And uh, so you see here, uh, uh, that was the complete video, even though we are doing this very slow here. So we have it here, reshaping a city. We have the pre-reading. The pre-reading is a previewing. So when you read the first paragraph, you can see what problems on the south side of Chicago are mentioned, okay? And we can discuss and see what the problems are mentioned uh, on the south side of Chicago. Okay, 
Uh, I need a volunteer to read the first paragraph for me. Who reads the first paragraph, please? Can I? Please. Uh, the south side of Chicago is a part of the city that has seen better days. Crime is a problem and there are few jobs. Many blocks contain vacant buildings, but one resident is using his art to bring new life to the place. Okay, the south side of Chicago is part of the city that has seen better days. When we say that something has seen better days, it's because we don't want to tell people it's very ugly, okay? So sometimes we say, oh, this is very ugly. No, instead of say it's ugly, you can say, uh, uh, oh, I've seen better days. Oh, it has seen better days, okay? What's the pro what are the problems in the south side of Chicago? Teacher, a question. Um, you can say I have seen better days when you're sick? Or yes, no? yes, of course. Yes, I've seen better days. <laughs> People who got the vaccines, they got the reaction. You can, they can say, oh, hey, how are you today? Uh, I've seen better days, I'm not okay, okay? Okay, so what are the problems in Chicago, people? Many crimes. Ah, look at that. Crimes. Jobs. What Still else? Jobs. Still jobs. What else? The cakes and beauty. Say it again. Vacation building. Vacate, vacate uh, vacant buildings. Vacant buildings there. Okay. So let me show you here. This is the, the south, 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 uh, south side Chicago. Okay. This is Chinatown there. They have lots of churches everywhere. This is the area. South Chicago. Oh, look at this. Totally Chinatown. Yes. Seven Treasures Cantonese Cuisine. Wow, I love that. Fresh seafood, Chinese barbecue, famous noodles. That's all what I need after class. Okay. And they have, a, a, you see, for our Brazilian standards, this is not a bad neighborhood, isn't it? No. What, what people say, is that a bad neighborhood for Brazilian standards? No. It's like. Yeah. Very, how can I say that? It's like it's sleek. No, um, it seems call um, I forget the word. Um, calm, it's like seems calm. Hey, uh, what, what do you mean, Leticia? Um, like here in, how can I say liberdade in English? Uh, but you mean uh, freedom, but you're not talking about liberdade São Paulo. Yes, but, um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how, how can I explain? Okay, can you, can you say that in Portuguese? No problem. Então, é, comparado a bairros que a gente tem aqui, esse é bem, tipo, ele parece ser bem calmo e limpo, sabe? Ah, oh, yes. If you compare the two neighborhoods we have in Brazil, it seems to be very clean, okay, and organized. Yes. If, if compared to two neighborhoods we have in Brazil, uh, this one here looks clean and organized. Yes, uh, I see. I, I've been to Canada. I, I, I know places there are very nice and clean. And that this one is south side. Maybe I'm not in the place where the criminality is, is high. Okay. 
But you know, criminals are always uh, are always moving. Uh, they stay in, in, in many places. Maybe if I continue here, uh, we may find uh, other areas that may not seem to be very safe or something like that. Okay. All right. So this is the place. Uh, here we have the the text where we have the audio to follow. I will play the audio. And I would like you guys just to follow what is this. Let me see here. Okay, yeah, the, everything is on the play uh, on the screen. This is ten point eight. Please pay attention. Pay attention after we're going to start with the questions. Reshaping a city. The south side of Chicago is a part of the city that has seen better days. Crime is a problem, and there are few jobs. Many blocks contain vacant buildings, but one resident is using his art to bring new life to the place. Theaster Gates saw the decline of his neighborhood firsthand. As he grew up, he watched as buildings were demolished by the local government or abandoned by their owners. But as a potter, Gates knew how to make beautiful things from very little. In 2008, he decided to buy a vacant house not far from his own home, and he started to renovate it. He used the house to stage exhibitions and meetings and the site soon attracted many visitors. The success of the project led Gates to buy more properties, turning them into cultural centers and meeting places. As Gates says, we were slowly starting to reshape how people imagined the south side of the city. One building named Listening House has a collection of old books that were donated by publishing companies and bookstores. Another building was turned into a movie theater and named Black Cinema House. It became so popular that soon there wasn't enough room for all the visitors and a new location needed to be found. Gates is now a well-known international artist. He has taken part in art shows in Germany and the United Kingdom. And in 2014, he was named as one of the most powerful people in contemporary art by Art Review magazine. But Gates hasn't forgotten his neighborhood, and his work in Chicago continues. Gates has helped design a million-dollar art project for one of the South Side's subway stations. Okay, was it clear for everybody to hear and follow the pace, not so fast? Okay, that's okay. So now we need uh, we need help. I need help from everybody uh, by understanding this one here. Uh, today I'm not asking you all to read the, the paragraphs, but I will. Uh, I will strongly advise you to repeat this uh, text and on, if everybody has the has the the the, 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 the PDF and uh, at the same time the the audio and uh, of course you do have because I sent you the uh, the the page for everybody okay. Let's go and answer the questions here. So we understand purpose. For example, uh, who uh, was able to connect the dots in, in between the paragraphs and the purpose? Can you do that for me? Can you tell me which uh, bullets connected to the paragraph one? I need help. Introduces and describes Chicago's South Side. It's okay, that's this one here. I, I will try to annotate on my screen. I don't know whether you will be able to see, okay? Uh, but anyway, I will try to do this. So paragraph one connects to introduce and describe Chicago South Side. 
Um, next, paragraph number two. Explain why Gates started his first renovation project. Oh, wow, that's okay. It explains why Gates started his first renovation project. That's right. What else? Paragraph number three. Uh, mm -hmm. First projects lead to more. Excuse me, say it again. Describes how Gates' first project lead to more. Mm, describes how okay, that's it. Okay, perfect. Okay, paragraph number four. Number four gave his examples of two of Gates' projects in Chicago. Okay, and the paragraph number five is the last. Who reads for me, please? Uh, describes how Gates continues to work in Chicago, describes international film. Excellent. Very nice. Okay, people, this is very basic, but it's interesting for us to see and uh, that you understand the purpose and how each paragraph connected. That's why you should practice uh, reading. Okay, you should practice reading for this passage here. Uh, you have the link for the video, and then you also have the material, so you can listen several times. And of course, watching P. Esther Gates speaking is also a very nice thing to be done. Let's now understanding the details here. Let's understand details. And for this now, I would like to have your help. I'm get a stamp here. I'm gonna make this very nice. There we go. I think I will, I will get the, um, the check mark, okay? So are the following statements true, false, or not giving according to the passage? So we read the passage in the previous page, and here we have number one, Piaster Gates grew up in Chicago, true or false? True. It's a true story. And number two, the first house Gates renovated was near his home. Sure. Okay. And uh, number three, listening house is much bigger than black cinema house. And G. Say it again. And G. And not given. Not given. Not given. That's mm -hmm. okay. Number four. A few people. Visited Black Cinema, uh, cinema House, uh, false. False information, okay. Number five. Group Gates has had art shows in Europe. Ah, uh, that's true story. And the number six. Gates continues to work in Chicago, it's true. True story, excellent. Okay, people, that's nice. All right, let's continue here. <clears throat> this is the exercise. And now we jump to building vocabulary. Let's uh, clean the drawings here. Building vocabulary, we have this. Match the words in blue from the passage uh, to the definition. Okay, definition is always important. We started today talking about sea, uh, sea life, and I asked for the definition. So the more you define in English, the better for you in order to build vocabulary. And in this case here, block. What is a block in this context? Block in area of land with streets on all its sides. Okay, very nice. Block is an area of land in uh, with streets on all sides. That's okay. Uh, resident, what's a resident? Someone who lives in a in a particular place. 
Yeah, someone who lives in a particular place. Someone who lives in a particular place. Excellent. Number three. Renovate to make repairs to improve a place condition. Yes, excellent. Number four. For a stage to produce a play, performance, musical, etc. Okay, uh, a stage, uh, stage to produce a play. Okay, number five. Place where something happens. A location and a decline. A uh, decrease in quality, quality are that's okay fantastic people this is very nice now we uh, we we move in here to the uh, critical thinking critical thinking is another part that i consider important okay applying we can apply what we learn in what other ways could you renovate a vacant building to create a community gatherings how can we renovate places people that's uh that's question for all, for everybody to participate. I will stop sharing the screen here, okay? Because I would like to hear your opinion, how to renovate a vacant building. How can we renovate a vacant building? Painting? A place, in, any place that could be transformed in something nice. Painting. Say so again, painting. Oh, painting is a good one. Painting is a is cleaning. a. Say so it again, cleaning, cleaning. Oh, wow. Cleaning. Okay, let me put this, those suggestions here. I'll put the suggestions so we can have all everything aligned here. Okay, so uh, cleaning, painting. Uh, invite some people to help. Inviting people to help. What else? Uh, doing reparations. Say it again. Doing reparations. Doing uh, doing repair. Doing okay. repairing. Yeah, repairs. What else? Uh, decorate the place. Decorating. Okay. What else? How can we improve? We got a few a few things here. Very nice. May I contract one professional? That uh, hiring a professional to do what, if, uh, Lillian? What the professional can do? Entende de reparos. Ah, hiring a professional to do the job, <laughs> the repair job. That's okay. Anything else? Hiring an electricist. Ah, okay, that's okay. Hiring an electrician. Okay, hiring an ele electrician. Okay, the paint shop. Is that all? So let me tell you something. Uh, when you make lists, you you have to be attentive to this. For example, here cleaning. If you, do, if you do a list like this, if you start the list using two, everything has to be with the two, okay? For example, to paint, to invite, to invite, to do, and uh, to decorate, to hire, 
too high. Okay, so every time you do lists in English, you pay attention to the structure. Am I using um, the, the verbs in gerund form to create a list, or am I using uh, the infinitive form? So don't mix when you do that. You have to do separate lists if you want to change and use different structure. It's like when you talk, for example, we, we can say, oh, who's will? And what are the places you would like to know? Oh, I would like to know Canada, uh, the USA, uh, Mexico, and Chile. So you always put the words with the same word class together. So verbs in gerund together, verbs in infinitive together. And if you are using uh, nouns, use the nouns. Always do lists like this. Don't make a mistake of, uh, for example, this one here. Oh, I like eating, eating ice cream and ice cream to eat chocolate and Canada, Canadian, Poutine, okay? This is, this is not okay. This is not okay here, okay? Why? Because I mix it. Look at that. Eating, to eat, and the noun. So this is wrong, okay? No, no, no. Don't do it, okay? Don't do it. If you have to make a list, make a list like this. Okay, that was the last one here. Let's move on now to the continuation here. So we are doing the, uh, when, you, when you talk about renovating, you have several ways to renovate and that, that was a nice thing. How to revive a neighborhood, people. How to revive a neighborhood. And then, uh, Piaster Gates uh, decided to tackle his Chicago neighborhood's problems by reshaping and reimagining abandoned buildings. His idea worth spreading is that art can be a force for social change, bringing new life to buildings, neighborhoods, and entire cities. Look at this, look at what is interesting. Uh, he made a list and they look at the list buildings, neighborhoods, and entire cities. So we put together the same uh, word class every time you make this, because it can be a mistake when we just mix verbs in different tenses in a list. If you make a list, do like this. Even this is interesting. So I come here with the question, what's the word tackle? What does it mean to tackle? What's the word to tackle? Enfrentar. Ah, look at that. So we have here the previewing, okay? Look, this is beautiful. Thank you, uh, Lillian. And then read the paragraph above. Choose the correct meaning of each bold word. You will hear these words in the TED talk, okay? So uh, Lillian just answered the first one. When you tackle a problem, you deal with the problem. You resolve the problem. Let's tackle a problem, okay? Number two, number two, to, resh to reshape something means to? Uh, change the structure. Change the structure. Yes. We change the structure. Is that right, everybody? Okay, excellent. Let's draw this one here. Just make sure everything is, is right here. Okay, to deal with, to change the structure, okay. And uh, a number three, an abandon, an aban abandon, abandoned building is one that the owner? Left. 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 Ones that the owner? left it's a pity but it happens in many places people just leave their buildings okay 
Let's put that one for everybody here, sharing this. And then now we move on to the next. Viewing now, we have the 10.9, watch part one of the TED talk. What problems in, in his neighborhood does Gates talk about it? I believe this one, you have the answer. High crime. Say it again. High crime. High crime. What else? Vacant buildings. Vacant buildings. And? Not, not many okay. jobs. He, does, he, does, he doesn't talk about that. Okay, I'm trying oh, to bring this one here. Okay, let's take a look and see what it is, okay? The neighborhood that I live in is Grand Crossing. It's a neighborhood that has seen better days. Uh, it is not a gated community by far. There's lots of abandonment uh, in my neighborhood. And while I was kind of busy making pots and busy making art and having a good art career, there was all of this stuff that was happening uh, just outside my studio. But I think a lot of our US cities and beyond have the challenge of blight, abandoned buildings that people no longer know what to do anything with. And so I thought, is there a way that I could start to think about these buildings as an extension or an expansion of my artistic practice? And that if I was thinking along with other creatives, architects, engineers, real estate finance people, that us together might be able to kind of think in more complicated ways about the reshaping of cities. Excellent. You see the problem of blight. That's a problem, not this one here. This is the notion. Okay, come back here. The problem of a blight. Okay, and the blight is vacant buildings. Okay, excellent. So we could check. He didn't talk about jobs, right? That was not the conversation. It was not included in the conversation. So for the next one now, we have here, uh, let me see this one, building. Uh, watch part two of the TED talk and put the events in the order they happen. Okay. One option is extra. So we have to put the order here and then we just enumerate them. But remember one of them is extra. Let's put this one here. Let's get this back and put in the sequence. The neighborhood that I live in is Grand Crossing. It's a neighborhood that has seen better days. Uh, it is not a gated community by far. There's lots of abandonment uh, in my neighborhood. Oh, that was the vacant building, sorry. And the other one was number 10. So we just got the answer, sorry. And so I bought a building. The building was really affordable. We tricked it out. We made it as beautiful as we could to try to just get some activity happening on my block. Once I bought the building for about $18,000, I didn't have any money left. Uh, and so I started sweeping the building as a kind of performance. I was like, no, uh, this is performance art. And people would come over and I'd start sweeping because the broom was free and sweeping was free. It worked out. <laughs> but we would, we would use the building then to stage exhibitions, small dinners, and we found that that building uh, on my block, Dorchester, 
we now refer to the block as Dorchester Projects, that in a way, um, that building became a kind of gathering site for lots of different kinds of activity. One house turned into a few houses. And we always tried to suggest that not only is creating a, a beautiful vessel important, but the contents of what happens in those buildings is also very important. So we were not only thinking about development, but we were thinking about the program. Thinking about the program, thinking about the kind of connections that could happen between one house and another, between one neighbor and another. Maybe it was too fast, but uh, let's see here. So if we have to look at the sequence, let's go back there. Uh, what was the sequence here, people? Okay, get to renovate the beauty. Okay, so this is one is nice. Let's see the other one. Uh, he he uh, actually he renovated, right? That's okay. Next. Gates begin to sweep as a kind of performance art. Ah, that's right. So one letter here is the letter uh, A and D. E. Yes, that's okay. Next. D? D, yes. Okay, the next. I'm not sure, but I think the next is letter E, A. What does it no. say? E. What does it say? It's letter E. Yeah, and uh, can you read? People started to people started to come to Gates Beauty. Ah, uh, look at that. It's okay. Next. Gates used the building to stage exhibition ex exhibitions. Ex exhibition. Exhibition. Stage exhibition. All right. And the last one? D. E? Ah, A, D, E, F, and B. What says B? Gates bought other buildings. Yes. That's it. Okay. That's basically what we see here. Let me just get this one here. Put all the information together and then give that to you. Okay, so everybody got this one. And we just check before we finish the class for today. And let me clean up this, come back here for the checking. This is 10A. And so I bought a building. The building was really affordable. We tricked it out. We made it as beautiful as we could to try to just get some activity happening on my block. Once I bought the building for about $18,000, I didn't have any money left. Uh, and so I started sweeping the building as a kind of performance. This is performance art, and people would come over and I'd start sweeping because the broom was free and sweeping was free. It worked out.
but we would, we would use the building then to stage exhibitions, small dinners. One house turned into a few houses. And we always tried to suggest that not only is creating a, a beautiful vessel important, but the contents of what happens in those buildings is also very important. OK, people, that was a nice one. OK, so we could check. And uh, remember, now the more we listen, the better. For today, we, we actually did and the presentations and the introductory presentations. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Leticia. She's not there, I believe, but uh, and she did that. Lucas, thank you very much for the presentation as well. We will continue on the last page, which is uh, not the, the, the following pages are seven, 117 and 118 to finish for next class. And then we go back to the beginning of the book. If everybody has the book, you remember we're gonna go to the first and uh, to the first page. Hey, I see Maria got that. Show me. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yay! Thank you. That's uh, nice. So, yes. Sorry. Uh, uh, I will not back in the in, in the next week. Next week. No. Because I I will traveling, and I just back the the next month. Oh, that's okay. But you'll be traveling uh, with your father? Yeah, and my mother. Okay. And my, yeah, I my enjoyed, mother. The, you enjoyed the trip. You told me about that. That's going to be a great yeah. trip for you. Okay, enjoy the trip. Did you get the book already? No, <laughs> not yet. No. Okay, I, but did you, ask, did you ask your father? Yes. Okay, remember we will prepare a unit to one. So you get the book, and even if you're traveling... You are traveling with your parents, but you cannot escape me. You oh, are grounded. No. Okay. Oh, no. Do your do your homework during the trip. <laughs> oh, you want to torture me, Husbu. You no, don't like no. me. <laughs> no, no. Enjoy your trip, okay? But uh, don't forget okay. uh, to order the book. Tell your father to do this as quick as possible because it takes some time to arrive here. Okay. Uh, so we are stopping the recording.